Good evening, it is February 9th. This is Saigon John with the Daily Hoosier Daddy on Octane Infinity TV. 11 games on NBA Tuesday. Let's see what happened with our matchup. First, it's Jobbers versus Team Chlamydia. Adam led Jonas 7-2 after uh, Monday. Eight players in action for both teams. This is uh, supposed to be an even field here. Um, well, Jonas got good production out of uh, Danny Granger of the Pacers, who had 27 and 10 with three triples. Uh, but he took a lot of shots to do it. 9 of 23 from the field for him. Uh, jobbers um, are kicking ass at field goal percentages. They shot over 55%. Wow. Even worse for Jonas, Derek Rose and Chris came and combined for 11 turnovers. Jeez, how could this get worse? Team Chlamydia is trailing free throws by just 1%, three-pointers by two, and the list goes on. Uh, how far? Well, Adam is leading in all nine categories across the entire board. Uh, I'm wondering if he's a little disappointed he didn't get me 9-0 again last week. Anyways, uh, after Tuesday, it is Adam leading in every category, as I said. Um, beating Jonas nine to nothing. Uh, moving on, it's seven apples versus Who Kings. Mike led Renee six to three. Both GMs um, looked like they had full lineups uh, Tuesday. Um, yeah, sure looked that way. We know uh, Brandon Roy is still out with that injury for Renee, uh, but uh, Renee got no love from Trevor Ariza, so uh, it was just down to nine guys for the Who Kings. Uh, Mike had a surplus of players, so he sat. Uh, looks like he's at the Knicks' Chris Duhon, who's been uh, seemingly in the good graces of Coach Mike D'Antoni there, uh, getting his PT back. Uh, but sitting him may have been the right move for Mike. Uh, he was efficient handling the ball. He had nine assists to just one turnover. Mike didn't need those. Uh, he leads pretty comfortably in both of those categories. Uh, Renee's team shot better uh, from the field, 51% to just 42 for Mike. Hoop Kings also best of the apples by uh, 12 to 6 in three pointers made. Uh, Renee got five from Jamal Crawford alone. Mike though, his team has uh, his team has beasts on the board. As a GM with a lot of bigs, I gotta have I gotta say there is an appreciation I have for Mike's uh, front line. Get this, um, seven apples. Their front line of Andrew Bogut, Brooke Lopez, and Troy Murphy. The three of them combined for 48 rebounds tonight. Mike leads handily there. He's also leading in block shots and ties Renee in steals. So uh, after Tuesday, this is what the scorecard reads thus far. Mike leads Renee five to three. Um, I have renamed my team from Team with All Stars um, for good reason. I only had two. Um, uh, to Nacho Libre. So it's Nacho Libre. Nacho! Nacho Libre versus Taco Del Mar. Certainly a little uh, flavor from south of the border in this matchup. Now, I led Chris 6-3. to three. I had eight players tonight, but uh, Sean Marion was a DNP for me. Meanwhile, Chris could have had eight players, but he ended up benching Baron Davis and Jared Jeffries, which... Uh, I'll assume was for disciplinary reasons. Jeffries, uh, man, Jeffries would have got, Jeffries would have got you a double-double, Chris. B. Diddy was one assist short for a double-double as well. Um, you still made some ground. Taco Del Miramar had uh, 13 steals tonight and now lead that category, but just by one. Uh, while I lead in five categories pretty handily, most notable, most notably, 10% uh, from the field. That was where I led lead in field goal percentage. I only trail by four three pointers, so I think I can chase that category in the next two days, uh, as well as the steals. So, Chris, you better check yourself. I'm gonna try and make this bigger by the week's end, because for now, I only lead five to four. Uh, ring leader versus the last airbender. Bill led Edwin 5-4. to four. Uh, He had eight guys up against the LAB's full lineup. Uh, that squad has led Edwin to tally leads in scoring and rebounding uh, and leads the foul shooting by 1%. But Billy B's got other plans. It seems his team is handling the ball better. 
leading in assists and turnovers. And then the defensive category is the two teams tie with eight steals, but Bill leads by just one block shot. Edwin's team is uh, just hitting a lot of iron, only 37% from the field tonight. And it definitely shows um, from his Houston Rocket players, Aaron Brooks and Luis Scola, the Rockets only scored 66 points in, in Miami tonight. It was a really bad game for them. And then Charlie Ville in the way of a, um, Charlie V didn't score a single basket for the last airbender. Disappointing night for Edwin, I'm sure. Uh, Bill leads the series now five to three. Last, it's uh, Ball Don't Lie versus Cobra Kai Never Die. Or dies. I just wanted to rhyme. Tend to do that from time to time. Evan and Mike led Scott five to four. Both teams had full lineups, but got one DNP apiece. As there was no Devin Harris for BDL and no Kmart for Cobra Kai. Uh, right now we have a time block shots, just two for each of these GMs. With fewer players, Scott easily leads in uh, with fewer turnovers. Conversely. Um, Evan and Mike have comfortable leads in points, rebounds, and assists, and lead steals by five as well. I'm thinking Cobra Kai might want to consider not playing all of their players in the next couple nights because um, he only trails the two percentage categories by small margins, just a few percent. So he may consider uh, benching his lower shooting percentage guys. That's just my theory. I'm not trying to give you any advice, Evil Mike, but uh, just throwing that out for you. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> I don't want to tip them. Anyways, um, right now, um, yeah, right now, the uh, Cobra Kai, don't, I don't think they need to worry about their leads in those tally categories. We have a tie series, though. I want to point that out for to, to Scott. I don't want to make it seem like his team's doing that bad. We have a tie series here. It is four to four and uh, it would be interesting to see how this head-to-head -head matchup ends uh, in the next few nights and with that we move to uh, league leaders Adam seems to be the hot GM right now uh, his team leads in four categories field goal percentage points rebounds and steals and uh, Scott to his credit is leading the league in three categories in his own right free throw uh, percentage um, and uh, turnovers, I think, and forgot what the other one was. Anyways, Cobra Kai, uh, God, you think with so many players, they'd be leading in just about everything. Well, they just lead assists for now with 58. And then my team, Nacho Libre, is uh, leading the league in block shots with 14. Let's look into free agency now. Cobra Kai dropped Mike Dunleavy and Drew Gooden. Uh, they added uh, the Blazers' Martel Webster and Nicholas Batum. Seems evil Mike changed his mind on a few players, uh, adding uh, and then later dropping in the day Nazi Mohammed and uh, Rudy Poo Fernandez. Uh, Hoop King is the only other team that made a move today. Rene dropped Mike Conley in favor of the Suns' Jared Dudley. Uh, ten games on NBA Wednesday. Uh, the feature game on NBA TV will be the uh, Celtics at New Orleans at 5 o'clock. Well, that's it here. Uh, for Fantasy Basketball Tuesday here from the Bomb Shelter at Octane Infinity TV Studios. I've been your host, Saigon John, the bomb from Vietnam, and boom, goes the dynamite.